Hello and welcome, my name is Jacob, this is Trade Happy, a platform for traders around the world to be happy and consistently profitable. In today's video, we're going to be talking about how you can trade sideways markets. Now of course, the market doesn't always trend, um, you will get those sideways movements, where the, on the, especially on the lower time frames where the market is just consolidating. Um, and for me personally, I do trade the five minute. So you do get quite a lot of sideways um, market movement. So being able to trade that sideways movement is crucial because obviously if you can't make money whilst it's trading sideways, you can have some real issues being able to actually trade and make money consistently. Um, Unless you have the patience to wait and see what the market's going to do and then possibly even get a breakout. Um, that's one of the things that we're going to be going into. But yeah, I've just uh, pulled up the chart here. We're on Euro GBP, 16th of July. Uh, obviously, this is in hindsight, so, you know, whatever, whatever. Um, just for an example to see what you guys can do. Um and I'll try and find a few examples where the market is trading sideways, just so we can cover maybe two or three different sideways markets. Uh, but we are in the five minute, 16th of July. And if you have a look at the right hand side, you can see that we're now in an uptrend. And as the market moves, you can see round about here is where we start to actually get into that sideways movement. So You've had a double bottom here, you're now at a double top, so you're waiting to see if the market breaks out, to which you could buy. So, you could buy here, which means that you'd be in a trade right now because of this wick. Um, you could be selling there as well, um, you would be in profit. So, there's two things that you can do right there. Now. Those are things that I wouldn't do because it is a gamble. Um, we are in an uptrend, so I guess the buy is more probable. But doing either of them, you haven't really got anything to go off. So if we just wait a little bit, you see the break, see the break at the high, and then we come back down. Um, this, could, this would be an area that would be really nice to be buying in. Um, because we've had two bottoms here. A top we've broken this which indicates that the market could move higher we've come back down to this area here um, and yeah we've seen a really really nice rejection of that area previously and now so buying at that area could be really good let's see what happens so you, you could be tagged out depending on when your stop loss is um, but as you can see we're kind of just floating in between these two zones um, so what you can do is buy the green and sell at the green um, you could also be looking for a fake um, breakout so if we draw this here you can see the market came down here and we broke this low and there's going to be people that will sell due to this break um, which is something that a lot of traders do especially the newer traders so buying in this zone is something really really good and kind of goes against a lot of what the retail traders are taught so yeah buying in this zone just below here maybe like two or three pips below this area is a really good place to actually be buying um, in your stop plot your stop loss could be really tight maybe like a 10 pip stop loss and then maybe like a 15 or 20 pip take profit or you could just do it where you don't have a stop loss at all and you just target these zones and you exit whenever you want to exit the market but if you are looking to trade multiple strategies it can be quite difficult, especially if you're trading multiple currencies, multiple strategies, to actually keep track of trades that you're in if you're not watching the markets, if you're looking for other trades. 
Um, so you could do that. There's lots of possibilities with, with the trading market. Um, I actually like to see it as well because when you get a sideways market, you can expect certain things coming out of that in terms of volatility. Um, if you have small candles, you should expect larger candles in a breakout kind of. Um, and on a, on a larger time frame, this is tiny. So this is a tiny little bit of consolidation. Um, but on here, obviously, it's quite a decent move. So again, si uh, selling at the top, buying at the bottom. You're tagged out of that. And then you've got a little bit of retracement up, back into this zone, and then we collapse. And right here, this is this is important here. So this break of this area, this is important because we had the break here, which indicated bullish. We came down, took a buy down here, only your back up here, take a sell, exit here, and then you're buying here. Now, this is a loser, but that doesn't matter. You're going to get losers when you're trading. And as we break down, you're now looking for sells because we've broken this short term low, which indicates that the market could be moving down. Now, where's the next high? You've obviously got one here, you've got one here, you've got one here, and you've got one here. Now, I'm just going to draw those onto the chart. Um, I'm just going to go into why you shouldn't be selling at the wicks um, in a second. But if you were to take those wicks, you would have missed this trade. Personally, I trade the bodies. So the bodies is what I look at. Um, now, obviously, back in hindsight, blah, blah, blah. Easy to say. But... Go into the Discord group, and you can see all of my trades are from the wicks. No, not, not the wicks. They're from the bodies. Um, so yeah, that would have been a really, really nice trade. And your take profit would have been at this low. Um, so yeah, that's one example. Let's try and find another one. Here's another one. As you can see on the five minutes, it's quite easy to find sideways markets. Uh, and something that is quite prevalent with sideways markets is taking out the lows and taking out the highs and getting a little bit of a reversal in there so if we just have a look at the highs and lows here you can see we've got a high up here we've got a low down here we've got a high here Got another low in here, another low in here, another high in here. So you get the idea. So if you were to simply just buy and sell below the low and the high, you've got quite a nice little strategy there. Um, so yeah, if we just have a look at this, you can see there's a low here. Now, people are going to be chasing this market, and where are their stop losses going to be? Their stops are going to be here. And then we go up and down, up and down, up and down. Come back in. Again, where are the stops going to be? Here. We take out the stops, and we run up. Now, you've had a little bit of a short-term high in here, and people are going to be probably selling here. And where are they going to put their stops? Here. Come down. And if anyone's trailing their stop, they're taken out. If anyone's moved their stop, even a tiny little bit, they're out. Um, so again, people are going to be buying here. Where are the stops? Below the low. We come up, fake it, come back down, take out the stops. And we take out the stops again. Tops, blah, blah, blah. We take out the stops again. Take out the stops again. Take out the stops again. And we take out the stops again. This happens all the time, especially on the lower time frames and in a sideways market. Um, so just doing this, just making sure that you're not getting baited into the um, into the breakout 
and taking a short when price breaks this area is going to really help you, especially in the sideways markets, because the the stops are going to be here and people are going to be wanting to trade support and resistance. Um, so here, there's a few ways that you can do it. Obviously, someone, some, some of you might like to trade this. Some of you might like to trade this. Um, there's not one correct way of trading this. Um, and it also just depends on your strategy. Uh, let's try and find if, another one. Let's try and find... So I guess this is one here. Um, so as you can see, this is kind of a very small range in here. How many pips is this? This is on GU, so this is five pips. When it's when it's doing something like this, I would be looking for breakouts. I'd be looking for actual closes of the candles, not the wicks. Um, so if I just draw from the bodies, remember, if I just draw this and draw this. So we obviously get a break here. Now at this stage you don't even know if it is a sideways market or not. So I wouldn't be trading that because you you don't know if this is going to carry on and this is just a V or if it's a double top and we break down. So you don't know if this is a sideways market at this stage. It's only when we bounce probably off this one that you're like okay we're in a sideways market now. So, the only trade that would take place is this. So you take a long here, you'd probably have a 10 pip stop loss, which is here, and maybe a 15 pip take profit. Um, so that, that's another way of trading some really small ranges. Um, on the five minute chart. Again, you can do the same here. You would have taken a buy here and you probably would have got stopped out. And then you would have taken another buy here, probably would have got stopped out again, possibly, or to hit take profit, depending on obviously your risk and all that kind of stuff. But you get the idea. So there's three ways that you can trade sideways markets um, on bigger ranges, on medium ranges, and also on these really small 5 pip ranges. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, comment below. Let me know what you thought of all these. Have you got any other ways of trading a sideways market that would be really good to share? Um, yeah, it's always good to hear what you guys have um, and share in the knowledge. If you are new here, remember to subscribe and hit the like button. Join the Discord community. The link is in the description. Um, we're starting to build a really nice community there of supportive traders. So head over there. Uh, we post all of our trades in the actual chat. Trade updates, live trades. We give resources, educational content. Um, there's so much going on in there. So remember to join. And I will see you in the next video. Remember traders, happy traders, happy trading.